Cincinnati News 12. The underdog is a story that most of us uh, can relate to. I couldn't have found a better director for Rocky. There's no way. It's perfect. A nearly five-year project by an East Texas filmmaker comes home, so to speak. Carthage native Derek Wayne Johnson spent the last few years interviewing the likes of Sylvester Stallone, Burt Reynolds, Martin Scorsese, and many others for his biggest project yet, John G. Avelson, the king of the underdogs. And with the uh, last theater in Carthage closing its doors a, a couple of years back, the Robinson Film Center in downtown Shreveport quickly became the new coming home locale for tonight's Arklatex premiere of The King of the Underdogs. And the documentary takes a look at a very successful Hollywood director from the 70s and 80s who just happened to make some of Derek's favorite movies. See a little bit of the premiere right there. Direct from Hollywood, Carthage's own Derek Johnson takes us back to where it all started. The scene for this local boy done good script is pretty straightforward. A small East Texas downtown, Carthage. How are you, man? Good to see you too, bud. Where the young filmmaker catches up with a couple of his teachers from yesteryear. It's weird. Like, I still want to say Mr., but I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm just going to call him by the first name. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Who still know he's not too Hollywood to give him a hard time. He did what he said he would do. Yeah, that was his, that was his goal. He came up, I guess, in, uh, as a junior in high school, said, I want to make movies. And I'm sitting here getting ready to teach the class, like, yeah, okay, well, just have a seat, and we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you want my uncle to put your stinky teeth out. A few years removed from school, Derek Wayne Johnson was making movies. Small-budget thrillers like Scrape and Broken Blood actually made it to the big screen. We had Scrape here in 2013 and then before that broken blood in 2012 small but big enough that they both played at the old carthage twin cinema theater the same place where his hollywood dreams began to take action i remember i was four years old and i remember seeing superman 4 poster in one of these cases and then years later when we had a couple of my movies here they actually uh put my poster in there it was really bizarre and really cool six years you've been sticking it to me i want to know how come in the very theater where he watched two of his favorite movies growing up, Rocky and The Karate Kid. When I see this place, when, I, when I'm here, um, even though it's not the theater anymore, it just brings back so many memories of standing in line right here. The last time I saw you was at the cinema. Yeah, yeah. When, when you had one of your, uh, had your show out there. Yeah. Carthage teacher Bud Worley says he quickly gathered his former student's underdog documentary was gathering serious steam when the Italian stallion popped up on Derek's Facebook feed one day. Well, when he says, hey, I'm fishing to do, I guess maybe it's, maybe it's Sylvester Stallone, I guess. That, maybe, that, maybe that's the one. It's like, we're fishing to go sh interview him today. And just to see him do that has been, oh, it's been phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. He, he... I mean, you get, you, you're living the dream, living your dream. A still humble dream <laughs> hits mom loaning her Corolla to Derek to take me around town to show me his East Texas roots. Once he says he'll never rip up. I and mean, this is where I grew up on Lake Merval. Actually, I would practice the crane kick out here on this pier when I was a kid. I'd wear the headband. Then who knew? Decades later, pretending gave way to actually sending a potential movie script to the filmmaker behind the classics, John G. Abelson. So two weeks later, I get a phone call from John, and he says, Hey, uh, John Abelson, get a pen and paper ready. I don't like your script. Let's talk about it. I couldn't have found a better director. For Rocky, there's no way. It's perfect. That phone call would eventually lead to a full-blown Hollywood documentary on the man Derek, to this day, sees as an underdog, just like some of his most famous main characters. I was going to say, just do what you're doing, man. And on his return home from Hollywood, Derek's teachers, in true Mickey form, delivered some of the best underdog advice of all. Never look around and say, you know, I'm in Carthage, Texas. I can't do anything because I'm from Carthage, Texas. And that's baloney. I mean, yeah. you go out there and do it. If you've got the drive and the ambition, you know, you push forward. You can make anything happen. Imagine seeing your name on the big screen like that. Derek says he's forever grateful to the late Avelson, who passed away earlier this year, giving this one shot to share his story. You can download or rent King of the Underdogs on Amazon, Google Play, or iTunes. By the way, we first met uh, Derek nearly five years ago on our morning show when he began his Kickstarter fundraising campaign. So looky here, in the credits, look what I found. As all the big names roll by, take it out right about here. 
A special thanks to KSLA <laughs> News 12 right there in the credits. Derek, How about that? we thank you. Thank you. Wow. Big career ahead for him. Yes.